Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the 90 hour build. This is it, everybody. I have been waiting for this video from the beginning. It is at this point, but I said that aside, and carve this. The thought crossed my mind when I was designing this build that I would do all of this carving by hand using gouges and, and uh, tiny little thumb planes and things like that. But do you know what? We're already well over the 90 hour uh, inaptonym. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do it with a uh, saber tooth uh, cutter on an angle grinder downstairs. So uh, I, I, I really wanna see how this is gonna turn out. So uh, let's go. So I'm gonna be using the students uh, carving area. Uh, this is the new school that's coming together. So when I started building this guitar, this whole thing was just a, a vague plan, a little not happening, and it's all happened is real. Whoa. I'm gonna carve that one now. So. Oh, you've got carving. I'm gonna carve the inside as well, so it's sort of the opposite of uh, what this is, I think. We'll see. <laughs> Give me an hour or so, and it should be a whole bunch more impressive. Or, or just completely broken. So yeah, this is a student's machine shop. It's got all the same dude stuff set up, and it's just uh, these cutters here. So the nice thing is, I used flat discs for years. I used this sort of thing for years. But uh, these ones have holes in them, and uh, you can see exactly what's going on. It's got more, more of a curve. You can get the recurves in quite, quite nicely. Let's get set up. It's time for some hand tools, I think. Um, <clears throat> this, this is not easy. I, <laughs> yeah, this is not easy. Yep. Okay, I need to, I need to bevel the edge. I've got the flying buttress sort of strut type thing going on. I'm not touching down here yet where I need to be. This whole centerpiece needs to be stable. Once I've got that fitted, 
and the edge is fitted, then we can start playing with uh, what else happens. I'm also bored of wearing a mask now, so uh, yeah. Okay, back in my studio. Uh, I feel the need for hand tools. <laughs> um, finessing this is going to be a hand tool, and then I'll go back down there and finish the carve with the uh, with the grinders and sanders and all that jazz. Uh, where I'm at is uh, pretty damn close. I want these flying buttress sort of things. Uh, yeah, basically I want that to be suspended there, but I also need that section to uh, to be sitting on the on the guitar. Uh, I need to remove more material here and here. I've misjudged the angle just a little bit when I was carving this piece actually. Uh, so yeah, I need to angle it all down a little bit and then uh, We'll see how we go. Something else I've just noticed actually is uh, these sections here, these bits, they're far too regular. Now I knew that I needed something to grab onto the edge of the guitar, but uh, it needs to be carved over and changed so it looks like it's grown there. That's the only bit on this whole structure that doesn't actually work uh, within the constraints that I've created. Uh, well, that and this huge big expanse, which is going to be going as well soon. Fine. It's actually very stable. We do some more. We want to remove more along here. Because I do want a, a, a very definite gap. This, this is awesome, if I do say so myself. So we've got the flying trusses as planned. It sits in the middle. There's gonna be some finessing to be done from on the frame on the inside. It's also, Very, 
very, very happy with this. This fantastic beast is starting to come together and uh, uh, the closer it gets, the, 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 the further away it seems. Um, okay, we're at the stage where the frets need to go in. Uh, the, the fret slots are curing actually, they've had some oil in there, I want that to uh, off gas and solidify over a couple of days. Uh, the, the body is carved, the internal body is carved and uh, I need to start figuring out bridges. Now I've, I've, I also haven't fine fitted the neck because I don't know what brake angle I need. We're gonna get there. Um, I have got the bridge in roughly the correct place. Um, it's a compensated uh, scale length. Uh, all scale lengths are. Um, so I know roughly where the bridge is going to go. And I have this huge expanse of boringness in the middle that, well, it needs to be carved, it needs to be carved away. Um, originally my plan was that we were going to have a bridge that sits on top of this. Uh, that breaks the fourth wall of this build as it were. The, the, the real thought behind this build was that this is an alien organism that's eating the guitar, or, which means that really the bridge needs to be beneath or at the same level of as, what did I just say? Um, as the organism, really, uh, which means that the bridge needs to be fixed to the, the actual body rather than this. And that has caused lots of issues with regards to, well, everything from brake angles to bridge placement to tail pieces, I, I'm not entirely sure what's happening, might be string through. We'll see. But anyway, for now, I've got some more carving to do. And uh, let me take this neck out. You can go there. Yeah, this is going to be, this is gonna be an epic guitar. This is the point of no return. <laughs> this, this is uh, one of one of several points of no return, but uh, we're here. This is not easy, or at least it's slightly worrying. This is a little nerve wracking. Ay, ay, ay. So. That is starting to look more like it. 
drink. So, uh, yeah, as well as carving all of that in, I'm going to be making the central section lower so the bridge doesn't look inordinately high. I have enough strength here. I honestly had an image of the, uh, the whole thing just disintegrating as I pushed down. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. So some carving to do. And it's starting to look. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, stop filming. I want to think about it. Go away. I've been worried about the, the, the top bits of these things being too delicate uh, and basically inhibiting any playing whatsoever through whoever is touching the guitar being just too scared to play it. Um, I wasn't planning on knocking them down to this extent until I started carving away that area where the bridge is and it just looks so much more organic. It doesn't have the 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 even surface uh, shape that we started with. I am, and it's still. It hasn't lost any any strength. I I am so happy with this. <laughs> ah! Okay. Um, yeah. I also now have a lot more sanding to do again, but hey. Okay, so some uh, some fine shaping to do with chisels and knives and, and, and that sort of stuff, or, or rasps actually. This is my rasps. Aha. That's the one, and here. Yeah. And here. Yeah. Send over by hand. This is going to be so cool. You were a close up, didn't you? Fine.
but I am so excited. Um, this, I was, uh, I was avoiding any more sanding. I'm not ashamed to say. This has just, just passed the bar. It, it, it's where I'd hoped it would be and more. Uh, that central section now looks valid. We're at, uh, I've done most of the sanding. We're at pretty much 240 across the, across the board. Um, there's some finessing to do, of course, because there always is. Well, let me know what you think. I think we're done. I think we're done for now. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe. Please consider supporting our Patreon. It helps keep things like this year plus long project going. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. I will uh, I'll be back with more later. Cheers.